What is fuel injector? Why do we need them? Types of fuel injectors. Fuel injector impedance. Symptoms of bad injector. Diagnostic and testing procedure. Frequently asked questions. What is fuel injector? A fuel injector is an electronically controlled mechanical device which is used to inject slash spray, just like a syringe, the fuel into the engine for the preparation of correct air fuel mixture which in turn provides efficient combustion to the engine. The position of the fuel injectors differs for different engine designs but usually they are mounted on the engine head with a tip inside the combustion chamber of the engine. Why do we need them? The working principle of internal combustion engines directly indicates that better the quality of fuel-air mixture better will be the combustion which in turn provides higher engine efficiency, so we need fuel injectors which provides far better air-fuel mixture quality than carburetors. The improper air-fuel mixing provided by carburetors leaves various unburned particles inside the combustion chamber of an internal combustion engine which leads to improper propagation of combustion flame due to which engine malfunctioning known as knocking or detonation takes place, so to avoid this almost all the vehicles on road today adopted fuel injection technology. The wastage of fuel in the form of carbon or unburned particles inside the combustion chamber directly reflects the mileage of the vehicle which is not desirable, so to avoid this, adopting fuel injection technology becomes essential. In case of carburetors, controlling the air-fuel mixture quality and timing is not precise as in carburetors, the adjustments can be done mechanically, but when it comes to fuel injectors due to its smart electronically controlled unit or ECU high precision of fuel metering can be achieved. It has been seen that not only the mileage, but also the performance of the fuel-injected vehicles is better than that of carbureted vehicles. Types of fuel injectors. The advancement in fuel injection technologies gave rise to various fuel injection arrangements like throttle body fuel injection, multi point fuel injection, sequential fuel injection, and direct injection that can be used according to the application. But when it comes to types of fuel injectors, then it is really a tough call to categorize them. Fuel injectors can be categorized as diesel fuel injectors. These fuel injectors are used to inject or spray the diesel directly into the combustion chamber of the diesel engine for further combustion by compression. The capillary and nozzle of diesel fuel injectors are made in such a fashion that they can form the diesel packets while spraying the fuel inside the combustion chamber. Diesel fuel injectors required higher injection pumping than gasoline injectors as diesel is heavier than gasoline. Gasoline fuel injectors they are the fuel injectors used to inject or spray gasoline directly or through intake manifold into the combustion chamber for further combustion by spark. The capillary and nozzle of gasoline fuel injectors is made smaller or same as the diesel fuel injectors depending upon the requirement. As the gasoline is lighter than diesel, gasoline injectors required less injection pumping than diesel injectors. Fuel injector impedance when ECU determined the exact amount of fuel and when to inject it, activates the appropriate injector by switching the other terminal to the ground. High impedance injectors are generally used in multipoint systems and they are with an impedance in the range of 12 to 18 ohms. Low impedance injectors are generally used in single point systems and they are with an impedance in the range of 0.5 to 2.5 ohms. According to the used injection system type, Usually there are two general impedance ranges for the injector coils. High Impedance The following diagram shows a voltage and current waveform of the signal which is common to most high impedance injectors. Voltage Signal At point A, the injector is off. At point B, the ECU turns the injector on by bringing the ground to the injector coil, so at point C the voltage drops to zero. At point D, the ECU turns the injector off. At this point, there is an amount of stored energy in the injector coil, so a large back electromotive force is generated, which causes a large voltage spike at point E. This voltage is fast dissipated by the impedance of the injector coil and quickly returns to 12 volts at point F. Current signal. At point A, the injector is off. At point B, the ECU turns the injector on, so at point C the current increases through the coil. When the magnetic field becomes strong enough to overcome the internal spring and fuel pressure, 
The needle lifts which produces a small dip in the current near at point D. The ECU turns the injector off at point E, so the current returns to zero at point F. Low Impedance The following diagram shows a voltage and current waveform of the signal which is common to most low impedance injectors. Voltage Signal At point A, the injector is off. At point B, the ECU turns the injector on by bringing the ground to the injector coil, so at point C the voltage drops to zero. When the ECU determined that the current flow is high enough to lift the needle, turns the injector off at point D. The stored energy in the injector coil causes the large voltage spike at point E, then the ECU pulses the injector on and off, faster than the injector can react, so the needle floats in an open position during F. When enough amount of fuel has been delivered, the injector is turned off. This produces a large voltage spike which immediate falls to 12 volts at point G. Current signal. At point A, the injector is off. At point B, the ECU turns the injector on, so at point C the current increases through the coil. When the magnetic field becomes strong enough to overcome the internal spring and fuel pressure, the needle lifts which produces a small dip in the current at point D. To prevent overheating, the ECU starts to pulse the injector at point E. The pulses continue during F, and after the final pulse, the current returns to zero at point G. Symptoms of bad injector Check engine light One of the most obvious symptoms is that the check engine light on your dashboard is blinking. If one of the fuel injectors is clogged or dirty and is not efficiently supplying fuel to the engine, an electrical signal is sent to warn the driver. Please note that the check engine light can also be activated for various other reasons. It is therefore recommended that you take your car to a garage and have it scanned for error codes. Engine vibrates. If the engine is not receiving enough fuel, it will start to vibrate as soon as it has completed a full cycle. On turbocharged engines, a clogged or dirty fuel injector can have dangerous effects and lead to a detonation that can damage the engine. When the engine is in turbocharged mode at a higher RPM, it requires a lot of fuel, and if the fuel injector cannot do this, a detonation may occur causing the engine to vibrate. Misfiring engine The engine will misfire if the fuel injector is dirty, clogged, or does not open properly. An engine with misfiring will interfere with acceleration, reduce fuel efficiency, and result in loss of power. This requires immediate attention, as your engine could also start knocking and cause serious damage to your engine. Bad fuel odor. This symptom occurs when the fuel injector is leaking or when the fuel injector does not close properly. Excess fuel creates a bad smell, which is noticeable while driving. It may be either leak into the exhaust pipe or an external leak in the engine bay, which both are fatal because they can make your car catch on fire. Increased fuel consumption. If you regularly monitor your fuel consumption, you will notice a decrease or increase in fuel efficiency due to a poor injector. A faulty injector delivers either too much or too few amounts of fuel to the engine than required and reduces the vehicle's fuel consumption. If you suspect that your fuel consumption has changed, it may be due to a bad fuel injector. Rough engine idling slash stalling. If you experience rough idle or the engine will stall on low RPM, it may be a bad fuel injector. It's because the fuel injector may spray too much or too little fuel, which creates a lean or rich mixture which may cause the engine to misfire and stall. Failed Emission Test If the fuel injector's spray pattern changed in injecting too little or too much fuel into the engine, your car will most likely not pass the emission test. This is because too much fuel or too little will be enough to increase the emissions, and the catalytic converter will not be able to do its job properly. Fuel Leak If you see a fuel leak in the engine bay, it may be because of a bad fuel injector. Fuel injectors are often made of plastic and can crack, which cause an external leak on the fuel injector. If you notice a fuel leak in your engine bay, you should replace it imminently because otherwise, it may cause an engine fire. Diagnostic and Testing Procedure Electrical Diagnostics Unplug the injector connector and check the impedance of injector coil with multimeter. 
For low impedance injectors, the reading should be in the range of 0.5 to 2.5 ohms, and for high impedance injectors, should be in the range of 12 to 18 ohms. If the reading drastically deviates, including zero or infinite, replace the injector. When the ignition is turned on or while engine cranking check that there is 12 DC volts power supply on the terminal of the injector with respect to battery negative pole. While engine cranking with oscilloscope or LED lamp check the electrical signal to the injector with respect to battery positive pole, since the ECU controls the ground of the injector coil. The LED lamp should fast blinking according to the engine RPM. Check the operation of the control relay if applicable in the system. Check the continuity and condition of all electrical connections, injector terminals, wires from the injectors to the ECU, etc. Fuel supply diagnostics. Check the fuel system pressure. Typically the value of fuel pressure should be around 1 bar, but at some MPI systems the working pressure can reach and 3 to 4 bars. Check the condition of the vacuum hose to the fuel pressure regulator. Check the operation of the fuel pressure regulator. Check the injectors for any leaks or mechanical damage. Check the condition of the rubber or ring seals at the lower and upper end of injector. Check the wideness of dispersion angle of fuel injection. Check the injectors for any dirt and combustion deposits around the nozzle. Frequently asked questions. Can you drive with a bad fuel injector? While fuel injector problems usually give warning, driving your vehicle for a long time with a clogged or faulty fuel injector can cause problems. Increased fuel consumption. A noticeable increase in tailpipe smoke and emissions. Rough idle and hesitation during acceleration. Will a bad injector cause no start? Faulty or dirty fuel injectors cause several problems with your vehicle, ranging from poor fuel economy to rough idling. Among these symptoms is your engine's inability to start at all due to lack of combustion. When they're unable to do this, combustion might not occur at all, and your engine won't start. Can you clean a fuel injector? When a fuel injector is clogged, it needs a concentrated cleaning to resolve the problem. This can be done by a qualified mechanic, or if you know your way around the inside of an engine, you can do it yourself. To start, invest in a fuel injector cleaning kit. How to clean your fuel injectors without removing them. Locate the fuel rail on the fuel injector. Disconnect the fuel rail. Fill the fuel injector cleaning tool with a cleaning solution. Attach the cleaning tool to the hood. Connect the outlet pipe to the fuel rail. Remove the fuel pump relay from the fuse box. How long does it take to clean fuel injectors? It usually takes 5 to 10 minutes for the cleaner to cycle through the injectors and get used up.